Alright guys, I finished part one. I'm going to upload these um, as different videos, but um, I, I'm, I'm going to upload them all at once, so you won't have to wait if you want to see part two. Uh, but I'm not going to sit here and explain because that takes like two minutes. I'm not going to waste that time. So, um, just view part one. I'll uh, just probably like right there, a link, I guess. So yeah, Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's the best Wii game ever. It is the best Wii game ever, and it's the best platformer ever. I love it. I love this game so much. I think that the graphics are amazing. I think that gameplay was outstanding. Everything was just perfect on this game, and I loved it. Um, I loved the new map system. In the first galaxy, um, y you had to go to these, like, different rooms on the ship, and there would be, like, an orbit thing, and you would have to, it would, you had to, like, lean your remote to get to the orbit. Well, it took too much time. Super Mario Galaxy 2, all you had to do was step on, uh, the ship's board thing, and it would take you right to the net map, so it was really good. Uh, better map system, but, oh my gosh, this game is so good. Um... And it's great because everyone can play it. Um, so, yeah, if you're a huge fan of Mario and a huge fan of platformers, you have to have this game because it is the best. It's the best Wii game ever. If you have a Wii, you probably already have this game because it's the best Wii game ever. It's not the most, I mean, it's, it's really well known. The most known is Wii Sports, of course, but the best game ever is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Super Mario Galaxy. This is the Nintendo Selects edition. I have two copies. This is Nintendo Selects. And, um, yeah. So, here's what happened. Basically, I bought this new for 20 bucks. And, um, when, well, it's not really new. I mean, it's, it's pre-owned. They just put new on it. It's really not new. New is when it has shrink wrap on it. But anyway, I got this game for $20 and... Literally, eight days later, my friend gave me uh, the regular copy for free. And I couldn't return it because it was literally one day more. So it was pretty much a burden on me buying this game. And um, But the first one is great. I love the first one. The second one is much better. But the first one is amazing. So I would suggest getting... The first one's a little bit harder. But um, the second one I actually think is a little bit easier. But... Um, they're they're both very challenging games. They're very challenging, very fun. It's outstanding graphics. A lot of people say the graphics suck. They don't. Um, I know a lot of Xbox 360 games that have worse graphics than the Wii ones. So this is a great game. Next is hold on. Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. I did a review on this a while back, about a year ago. And um, this is a great Indy Jones game. If you like um, adventure games, it has a little bit of puzzle elements too, but it's great. So I'd suggest getting it. SSX Explorer. Now, I've been a huge fan of SSX ever since the very first came, game came out on the uh, PS2. It was a PS2 exclusive. I've everyone, well, no, most of them I uh, traded in or they broke. Um, but this game is okay. It's not very good um, as an SSX title. I think um, they could have been much better. I think. The controls for tricking was kind of clunky. Like, I didn't want to draw things on the screen. I just wanted to press an array of buttons, and it would make them do tricks. Um, my favorite level, level out of all the SSX games has got to be uh, Tokyo Megaplex from the very first one. Uh, but this is an okay game. You can get it real cheap. Probably GameStop or something like that.
Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. Now, if there's a Lego game I like, it's the Lego Star Wars. Um, the reason I like the Lego Star Wars games more is the newer Lego games, they tend to uh, want to be more of a 2D, where like there's like a side kind of. I mean, it's three, it's third person perspective, but they, they want it to be kind of like you're supposed to go on the side. I, didn't, I don't like that. I like Lego Star Wars because it has more of an open level kind of thing. You um, aren't really restricted. So I love um, I loved the Lego Star Wars, but both of them weren't working anymore. They were both scratched. So, um, yeah. So uh, I just got Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. Go hold on. I got the bottom one is much harder to get. X Men Origins Wolverine. I hate this game. Um, I, I don't even want to talk about it much. Uh, you can watch a review, but it, it's really bad. Um, hold on. I gotta get Jack too, so I can. Uh, Jack 2 for the PlayStation 2. Um, it's not as good as the original Jack and Daxter, but I like it. I think it's really good. So, yeah, it's a good PS2 title. I'm not going to spend much time on the PS2 games because nobody really buys them anymore. I'll just say whether they're good or not. So, yeah. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, it's not so great. Um, I've never been a huge... I mean, I've been a huge fan of the first three Harry Potters, but the other ones weren't as good. Spider-Man. Uh, this is probably the first game I had on my PS2. But, yeah, it's a really good game. Um, it's really a movie title game, but I liked it. I thought Spider-Man 2 was better. Tony Hawk's Project 8, um, this is an old game, it's an old game, well, the first Spider-Man is older, but came out in, like, 06, I believe, you can get it on the 360, but it's pretty good, um, it's not as good as Thug, which I thought was better, Tony Hawk's Underground, T-H-U-G, Thug, that's what it's saying for. NFL Primetime 2002. Never played it. Seriously, I, that's truth. I've never played it. I never. I'm more of a Madden fan. Uh, Trivial Pursuit. I know it says Unhinged, but stupid people gave me the first one or the original one. And I wanted the Unhinged edition, but whatever. Um, it's actually pretty good. I liked it. I thought it was really great, um, but yeah, it's good for if you have people over, but nobody plays the PS2 anymore, so I mean, I mean, if you, I mean, if you're a fanboy of it, you might still. Madden 07, um, this is my uncle's game, um, I played on the 360, and what I know of the 360, it's pretty good, but Madden 09 is the best Madden out of all of them, I love Madden 09 the best. Madden 09 on the PS2. Um, it's, there's no all play in it, but I this is the best Madden out of ever all of them. I mean, this is just real great. Um, I think this was when, um, not Brett Favre, I can't think of his name. They were transfer him from uh, the Bucks. I I'm from Tampa. So um, they were transferring him from the Bucks to. Um, another team, and this came out, like, right in the middle of that transfer. So, um, they had him on two teams, I believe. I think it was, like, once you beat the game, he went on the other team. <coughs> <coughs> Next part, I'm going to get some Dazani. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, but, yeah, it's the best Madden all of them. Uh, out of all of them. The Hulk on the PS2. 
Um, it was okay. More of a movie Hulk game. NBA Live 02. This is the first basketball game that got me addicted to basketball games. This is a great game. I mean, it's it's a classic, but I loved it. This is what first got me addicted to basketball games. Spider-Man 2. Um, it's really good. It's a uh, open world Spider-Man. It's much better than the first one. So yeah, that was part two, and part three is coming next. I still got a lot to cover. I got all that to cover and all that. So, and this. So, see ya.